Hey guys, this is Anuj from Prepped and Polished, and today I'll be sharing with you three simple tips on how to get a five on the AP biology exam. All right, so tip number one, flashcards and content review. Get your hands on a Barron's or Princeton Review test prep book and start going through the content as quickly as possible. Focus on those topics that are really giving you trouble. And remember, the goal here is just to refresh. You've already done most of the learning during your AP exam course. Now you're just trying to pick up the facts that you've already learned and just kind of um, get, that, get that sense again that you, that you had when you were taking the, the, taking the course. And you want to start building flashcards. So for stuff that you don't know, um, you're going through the content review and you know, let's say you saw something about evolution or you know, like some Darwin's theory and you didn't know about it. Write down a flashcard, write down what it means and why it's important. The best scenario is for you to take um, the course and build these flashcards all along. If you can do that, you'll have a nice flashcards ready for um, before you even start the reviewing. And if you haven't done that already, don't sweat it. There are lots of flashcards out there on Amazon. Um, if you Google them, you'll see it doesn't really matter what prep companies they come from. Um, they're all very similar and what you want to do is just get those flashcards of uh, stuff that you don't know. So even when, you're, when you have the deck in front of you, go through them really quickly and stuff that you think that you've got it down pretty good, just throw those cards out. You don't want to be reviewing stuff you already know. During the content review and um, of any type of exam, you want to focus on stuff that's giving you trouble and you want to be very efficient with that. Tip number two. Tip number two is explain systems out loud. There are so many systems and concepts being tested on the AP Biology exam. And for here, I've gotten a few just listed here. You see that digestive system, blood flow, like how the blood flows through the heart um, and the body, what's the pathway, protein synthesis, um, you could say DNA or RNA synthesis as well, um, eukaryotes versus prokaryotes. These are just different concepts and systems that the AP Biology exam tests. And what I mean by explain it out loud, I mean is practice as if you're teaching um, someone else this concept, okay? So for the digestive system, explain how food is digested throughout the entire body, what organs it goes through, what different type of enzymes are involved, um, what's the process, is the proteins that are being degraded versus fats versus carbohydrates. Be as specific and detailed as possible. And for like, things like the protein synthesis, be sure to explain what would happen if something went wrong. You know, what if a specific part of the protein synthesis, um, one of the ribosomes was not functioning properly? How would that affect the overall process? What would still able to be occur and what would not? Thinking in like this and the, the system as a whole and the different components of it is gonna help you with the free response questions because a lot of these free response questions are testing you on what you know about these entire systems. You might get a free response question that says, you know, here's an organism, um, here are the specific traits classified for us. And then, you know, the practice that you've gotten from explaining eukaryotes versus prokaryotes versus other classifications is gonna really help you get into that mindset. And that's gonna be really important. So spend a lot of time doing that and be as descriptive as possible. And if you're fumbling, look through your prep book to kind of get more information and develop better responses. Tip number three, multiple choice and free response question practice. For this, you wanna get your hands on those prep books and the multiple choice, um, you know, in the back of the book or wherever, go through as many questions as possible. The key here is to go through as many questions as possible. So if you're getting stuck on one multiple choice question and you're trying to figure it out in your head or you know, you're not getting it, spend like 30 seconds to a minute max, just reasoning it out as best you can. And if you can't figure it out, go to the solutions manual, Go to your prep book, go to your flashcards, and see what you're not getting. Because the goal here is to see as many questions as possible. So spending too much time on just one topic is not going to be the best strategy. You want to see as many questions from different topics in AP Biology. And there are a lot of different topics. So the more questions you get through and answer solutions you see is going to really help you um, on the multiple choice section. Now, the free response question practice. Um, these you can go on the College Board exam um, website, College Board website and you'll see past exams, click through them and try responding to them as best you can. Be as detailed and as thorough as possible. And after you're done, compare your answers to the student sample um, responses where graders have you know, showed like this, this response was a five and was a really good score. Compare your responses to those, see what you're lacking, see how you're similar and kind of tailor your responses just to those so that way you're getting the best score that you can. 
And remember those flashcards that you're building, you want to do that all along. When you're doing these multiple choice questions, you're getting them wrong. When you're getting the free response questions, you're missing things out. Keep building them and review them, you know, two to three weeks out before your exam and every night as often as possible. 30 minutes, I'd say, a night. And so there you have it. Those are the uh, three simple tips on how to get a five on the AP Biology exam. Tip number one, build flashcards and go through the content review as quickly as possible. Tip number two, explain systems out loud as if you're teaching someone who's never even heard of biology before. Be as fun, be as clear and as precise as you can. Tip number three, do a lot of practice. A lot of multiple choice practice, a lot of free response question practice. Tip number three is where the majority of the learning is going to be is going to occur. And so you want to spend at least 60 to 70% of your time studying just on tip number three. For more information, please check out www.preptandpolished.com.